Good howdy, everybody. Welcome back to another James Blackburn experience. Today, I'm coming to you for my third day in a row at the Rio Grande Valley State Park. But we're doing something a little different today. I'll explain here in just a minute. Today, instead of going south of Montano and Coors to hike, I'm going north. Stay tuned here. I actually am documenting the hike and I'm going to have a, a full map of it. So here it is. It's really beautiful out here this morning. About 55, maybe 60 degrees at the most. Cool little breeze. It's quiet. Leaves are changing color. Can't ask for a better morning hike than this. Well, you could, but it wouldn't really matter because they're all good. As long as you're outside in the woods, in the mountains, in the valleys, wherever, it's always fun. Okay, I'm out here a little earlier this morning than I normally am, but uh, I guess what I'm saying is that I hear a lot more critters because it's earlier in the morning here. If I see anything, I'll try to get it on camera for you guys. Boy, this trail is neat looking. See what I mean? The way it just, nice single track trail going through the forest like this love the way the early morning sun lights up the, the leaves on the trees like that. Pretty cool. Beautiful forest here. All right, folks, a couple quick things. I've hiked here for the last three days. I apologize about that. However, it's close to my house, a beautiful place to hike and explore, and I'm going on all brand new trails for me personally. So it's kind of fun for me. I hope it's not too boring for you guys. Secondly, the beard's still here. A couple more days it'll be here, and then uh, there'll be a daily video just about the removal of this thing. So tune back for that on Thursday or Friday. And tomorrow, my mom's coming in from Iowa. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to get to be able to see her. And she's going to be here during Balloon Fiesta, which is even cooler. So, yeah. Crossroads. So which way do we go at these crossroads? To the left, which is kind of an old dirt road. To the right, which is intriguing and may go down to the river. Or should we go forward here? I think I'm going to go forward because this looks like an intriguing trail. And I've actually never hiked on this one before, so it's kind of fun. Something neat, something different. On yesterday's hike, if you go back and look, it's about a mile and a half south of where I am right now, but there were some debris shelters that were there. Here's a pretty big one. I wonder why these are here. I mean, somebody did some work on this thing. And the other ones, like I said, are about a mile and a half south of here, so it's interesting to see another one here. I wonder if people just come out here and practice or what, but yeah, there you go. Debris shelter. At some point on this hike, I will get us down to the river's edge and get some shots from down there. It's kind of a tradition on these Bosque hikes here. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Still love the fact that there's a lot of really good wildflowers down here. Beautiful. Even got some nice looking yellow ones. Here's another one of those things. I'm starting to wonder why they're here. Are they supposed to be art projects maybe? I mean, nobody would stay the night out here in one of these things, but I am curious why I found several yesterday and then several more today 
and they're at least a mile and a half to two miles apart from one another. So interesting. Finally catching a glimpse of the Sandia Mountains about 12 miles east of here. So they're back there. As you can see, it, they're far away for sure. Well, I came out of the woods there, came out into this clearing here. And we got some jetty jacks here, but there's a nice field here and Time, 30 it's beautiful. Minutes. Distance, of course, one, over there one, are the Sandia two, Mountains, two like miles. I said earlier, about Average 12 miles east of here. Minutes, 31 oh, yeah. seconds nice per day. mile. Here's something you don't expect to see in the southwestern desert areas, but there's a little marsh here with some cattails growing out of it. A little natural source of water, not too far from the river. The river's just up over this hill here, up by those trees perhaps, maybe a little bit further, but we're not too far. All right, I found this little trail and I can hear some wildlife up ahead, but I don't know if I can get to the river from here or not. It sounds like uh, perhaps some ducks or geese down here. Sounds like a bird being killed by a coyote or something. Never heard anything like that before. There's something unusual going on over here. Was that? I'm not sure what I witnessed there, but I think it was a bird of prey, possibly killing another bird for food. I'm not sure. It just uh, sounded very, very weird. Three, well, I did zero, find a trail miles. again. Average pace, Finally, minutes, that goes north. This way goes south, which is the way I'm going to head back because that's where the car's at. Well, finally made it back down to the river. As you can see, there's the Montano Bridge. So the river is at the very end of my hike here. But we'll go and find it real quick and get a couple shots for you guys before we call it a day. All right, I think I see it. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. The beautiful river as promised. A little muddy today still because of all the rain we've gotten, but Time, beautiful nonetheless. Minutes, distance 2.26. Two, all right, folks, we're gonna wrap it up here for another fun hike video. Appreciate you guys tuning all back in. Tune it all back in. Is that proper English even? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for the latest content and click the like button. It's right down there below. If you see it right there, just click it, please. And feel free to leave questions or comments, suggestions, ideas, anything you got. And love, love, and hate, hate. Take care of one another. Thanks a lot, folks.